Okay, friends, and welcome to another weekly energy video for August 8th through the 14th. Welcome to the new subscribers that I met over the weekend. I was at Satnam Yoga in Chicago, where I was trained um, in Usui Reiki techniques, where I was doing tarot readings for their monthly healing circle, um, which was a lot, a lot of fun. Um, I love sort of having sessions um, face to face, although this is great too. Let's talk about this week. The weekend, we just came out of like a Scorpio into Sag moon weekend. Uh, the intensity of last week left us searching for our one great truth. And now it's the beginning of the week. The journey is far from over, but we need to find some sort of practical way to put that information to use. Put a bow on it. It's not the end, but like we're seeking completion is sort of um, Monday's vibes. What else do we got? Sun, Trine, Chiron, right. This new sense of purpose. Where is it taking you? Like, what have you discovered? Where is it taking you? This is all leading up to the full moon in Aquarius, which is all about individualism. It's in the 11th house, right? So our friendships and it's in 19 degrees. So depending on where 19 degrees Aquarius will fall in your astrology chart, your birth chart will tell you more about how this full moon is impacting you. This is this week is really about learning to become your own support system. So it's not that we're seeking distance, emotional distance from friends or from people or colleagues because we don't need them. It's more so of like a personal lesson is coming um, up. Specifically something that could be a pattern for you is coming up. If there was any spiritual bypassing that happened either last week or just in general in the last six months, uh, this is the time to deal with those things. August is interesting. And you know, it is what it is. Take some time out. Just pay attention to what's coming up for you. And seriously, sit down and do the work. Your breakthrough will come. Stuck coming out of stuckness. We have stuck in reverse coming out of stuckness. Look within in reverse. An illusion is being broken. Who is the real you? And rebirth. I mean, it's just like I had said, right? Rebirth, this is sort of like the death card, which is, again, it's not the end. The end is really just the beginning of something brand new. So if something's not working out for you, you got to go around um, as in within. Something external, some sort of external situation, friendships. This is, you know, full moon. Aquarius is nothing to scoff at. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. Right. Yep, three of swords underneath. Unlearning. We're unlearning something. Justice. What you put into it. Justice is karmic energy. What you put into a situation is what you get out of it. I have seen that a lot this week. Unlearning or relearning, you know, it's sort of saying, oh, and then we have, sorry, the Six of Cups, Harmony, this offering. I just want to get this full thought out for myself. <laughs> and the Nine of Cups, the Wish Fulfillment card or the Wish card. What is it that you want to see happen? Um, realizing you have agency. And if something is happening in your life that is not, not turning out the way you want it, have wanted it to be, how can you take responsibility for your part in it? What did you put into this relationship that led it to turn out the way that it is now? And I say relationship because really, you know, for this, the 11th house is really highlighted this week, collectively. But again, check out where your full, where your, um, which house in your, star, in your star chart does Aquarius rule at 90 degrees. If you need help, just leave a comment below and then we can suss it out together. We have the Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands, that's showing up a lot. Six of Swords, that's showing up a lot. Ten of Wands. Yeah, all of these is 
the great saga, the great like um, soap opera of the weekly tarot continues. Two of Pentacles, dead center. Four of Wands, King of Swords, Eight of Swords, and the King of Cups. Two Kings, Two Pentacles, also the Two of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people have been doing the work. That's what's showing up here. There's a brand new opportunity to um, Bring yourself to the end of a cycle, willingly. Um, it's almost like you've discovered the truth of how hard you made it for yourself and now suddenly things are gonna become easier. Things become easier when you look at yourself more clearly and where you've been, where your beliefs have been holding you back. I think this is just a matter of prioritizing yourself here um, this week. That's primarily like the really really loud message there's a personal victory but um it comes at the expense of or not even the expense just that it's like wanting to take a little time out we're just going to take a little time out and reprioritize some things here because i think in order to move forward with whatever this new opportunity is that um had been challenging you're now seeing more clearly, and that clarity is coming from this looking back inward, this recommitment to self, and this desire, this intention, clarifying an intention for yourself to um, honor your own boundaries, honor your truth, more like, I'm not really seeing boundaries on the table, but honor, honoring your truth and where it is you want to be headed be headed, be going. <laughs> um, the Four of Wands is here, that's why I say commitment, right? That's a commitment card. It's also the structure, four re relates to um, four in the major arcana, emperor. What are you building? Where are you going? What are you building? The King of Cups and the King of Swords. This is a reminder to not seek outside validation. You have all the validation you need within you. It's in your heart and it's in your mind. You only have to look at these two places. I heard, a, heard something. Gosh, this is so bad that we're taking information from like TikTok and like, it gets digested and then like put back out there and I don't even know who said it. But I've been thinking a lot about it because it makes sense, it's about the quantum field and I think, I don't know if I can go back and find this even, I think what they said was, the mind electrifies the quantum field, gives it energy, energizes the quantum field, and how we feel, our emotions, magnetize those things to us. So they, they, um, they direct the magnetic field then. With this process of manifestation, if any of those things are out of tune, out of touch, we're not really um, doing our best to be transitioning into the life that we want. Rebirth and Six of Swords are both big moving cards. Moving forward. Someplace happier, someplace where things feel more stable. It is, it is a, a big feeling of stability is here with the Four of Wands and the King of Cups. King of Cups knows when to share his emotions and when to keep things to himself. And if you know better, as in if you watch this video, you'll know that this week will be leading up to this full moon Aquarius. Full moons, yes, like emotional and like big energy. To me personally, it makes me feel like I need to stay home and just sort of like not get in other people's ways or you know just just really keep things to myself you can you will again check your chart check your charts to see what house is being illuminated for you this week because it's a pretty intense one it's a full moon in aquarius it's, it's middle of leo season we're unlearning things about ourselves so that we can move forward with truth leading this is a personal victory we have again so also the nine of wands underneath. 
So this is some sort of spiritual lesson. Time to meditate. Find love. Love for yourself. All right, there's the tower. Moon. Do the work. So what's coming, what's changing, if there's drastic changes now, they're happening at the right time. The tower comes, we think it's unexpected, sudden change. Uh, but really it's because we've been avoiding something for a little bit here. Uh, maybe not doing the work or there's subconscious fears around something that we should be really working on. Um, it's time to do the work. You cannot move forward. You cannot progress. You cannot ascend to the next level if you're not doing the work. So make the time. This is your breakthrough. This is your breakthrough. Let me see if there's any notes that I missed from um, when I was looking at the planets earlier. <laughs> okay, so by the end of the week, or I think over the weekend, there will be um, Venus is moving into Leo, and the Sun is conjunct, or actually that's opposition. I think that's conjunct Saturn. To hell with limits. I must show you this. Grand romantic gestures flirt. Intrigued by challenges, inspiration to overcome. What does that mean to you? It's a Pisces moon weekend. So for everything that I said about this week, the weekend following the full moon will be a great time to uh, schedule some spiritual practice. Go take a yoga class, do some meditation, get a reading done, whatever it is your thing is. What's this a commitment to? I want to know just one more. The hermit. Your gifts. Five of Wands, Knight of Cups, and the Hermit. I think that this week's commitment is to your unique expression. Finding your unique expression. Being able to um, speak up and express yourself freely. Uh, we do have Virgo here. This is about finding your gifts. And then the Knight of Cups is moving forward with truth leading your heart so don't there's no fomo here y'all this there's this week is for sure um cautioning against spiritual bypassing any further um at this time remove yourself from the noise take a take a weekend off and just really do what you can to get back in touch with your intuition See where it is your north node is leading you. Um, if you need a reading done, you can just hit me up. And we'll check out your chart. All right, if you want to check out the full moon in aqua video, there's a whole video just for that. It's over here. All right, okay. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, and come back next week for the next energy video. Peace.